Welcome to the sixth video demo on static routing. On this video demo, we will be talking about the IPv6 floating static route. So this would be the topology to be considered on this video demo. Let's move on to our demo. All right, now that you're done with the IPv6 assignment, okay? So this video assumes that you already have assigned IP addresses or IPv6 addresses to the workstations here to the computers, PC1, PC2, and PC3, and to the routers also. So our concentration or focus on this video demo is the configuration of floating static route. And we will be involving only PC1 and PC3 on the demonstration, okay? So we just need to configure R2 to complete the configuration, but we will be limiting ourselves and observe PC1 and PC2 or PC3 here, okay? So using the floating static route for IPv6, All right? So let's start. So we are going to begin with, of course, the show IP interface brief because we want to see all the configurations on the IP uh, v6 interfaces, all right? So enable, we've got show, IPv6 interface brief. Okay, so we should have here three directly connected networks. And in that case, so these are serial 010, serial 011, and of course the LAN. Right? So also, let's do the same on R2 here. Alright, so enable show ipv6 interface brief so you've got three interfaces up and up here right and the last one is of course an r3 okay so enable show ipv6 interface brief okay and in that case you've got up up there right now so the next thing is Let's configure, but then before that, let's see the routing table here. Show IPv6 route here. Okay, so if you will observe, there is no static routes configured on R1. Now let's do it. Okay, so on our um, topology here, okay, so both R1 and R3 will be using 10.1 or 10.10.10.0 slash 24 or the 2001 DB8 feed. 10 colon colon slash 64 as the primary link so it will be using this link here okay and secondary links are 2001 db8 acad 2 colon colon slash 64 between r1 and r2 okay so for r1 secondary link and for r3 that would be 2001 db8 cafe colon 1 colon colon slash 64 okay so let's start our configuration with r1 here okay so let me use my default static route here. Okay, so on R1, so enable, configure terminal. Okay, so IPv6 route, all right. So default route, so let me use default route here. So colon colon slash zero. Our next hub IP address for the primary link would be 2001, all right, colon, db8, colon, feed colon 10 colon colon you've got two there okay so this will this would be our primary link all right so also let's configure the secondary link here for r1 which is ipv6 route okay colon colon slash zero You've got 2001 colon DB8 colon ACAD colon 2 colon colon. Okay, this would be 2. Okay, colon colon 2. And let me use an administrative distance of 5 here since this is our backup route or secondary link. 
okay so we're done with our configuration on r1 let's check the routing table here so we've got do show ipv6 route there okay so where is our s here so it's up okay so take note that this is via feed 10 colon colon 2 which is the primary link here okay so later on if we are going to shut this down so what we'll see in the writing table is of course the secondary link here right now let's go to r3 now okay so let us configure r3 so that would be configure terminal okay so ipv6 route okay you've got colon colon slash zero here the next up ip address would be 2001 colon db8 right colon feed colon 10 colon colon 1 okay so which is our primary link okay now our secondary link on r3 would be ipv6 right route colon colon slash zero here You've got 2001 DB8 Cafe, which is this one here. Okay. Cafe colon one colon colon two. Okay. Administrative distance of five, making it a backup route. Right? So do show IPv6 route. So it is currently now set to feed 10 colon 1 which is the primary link All right now let us configure our r2 here okay so for r2 okay so configure terminal let's just configure the remote networks for r2 here and that would be ipv6 route okay so 2001 db8 ACAD colon 3 colon colon okay colon colon slash 64 here all right and that would be via 2001 db8 ACAD 2 colon colon 1 all right so 2002 colon db8 colon acad colon 2 colon colon 1 so this would be our route here okay next let's configure the other network okay so which is from router 3 lan here so that would be ipv6 route 2001 db8 okay and that is cafe colon 2 colon colon slash 64 here and that is via 2001 db8 okay cafe colon so this is our next up here 1 colon colon 1 all right we've got 1 colon colon one all right so take note that we also have here the third remote network which is between r1 and r3 here okay so we can also configure it so ipv6 route so that would be 2001 db8 okay feed 10 colon colon slash colon colon slash 64 here okay and our next hub would be 2001 okay db8 acad colon 3 colon colon 1 okay so which is the interface here and well let's configure this also with floating route so with a default administrative distance since we have two possible paths 
from this network going to 2001 db 8 feed 10 either via r1 or via r3 okay so um, ipv6 route 2001 db8 colon feed right colon 10 colon colon slash 64 and this time this is via 2001 okay db8 cafe okay colon one colon colon uh one all right administrative distance five okay all right so now that we're done with the router configuration let's see the routing table for r2 here so do show ipv6 route all right so in here we have three ss right so first you've got this second and there's the other one one two we should have three remote networks here so which one is not yet configured so that is 2001 debate cafe 2 we don't have that yet Ah, oh, we also we already have it here okay so cafe 2 colon colon slash 64 the other one is feed so we have or we need to to configure this 2001 here so we're not yet done okay so ipv6 route so that would be 2001 here okay db8 colon acad colon 3 colon colon slash 64 here right and that would be we have it yes so that would be at 2001 okay colon db8 colon acad colon 2 colon colon right so do show ipv6 route here we have it already yes we have here three s's now so one two cafe two feed and acad three all right so we're done now let's check okay so if pc1 here can ping pc3 or we could simply do the trace route or tracer on the computer here now let's start with a ping here desktop command prompt okay so let me ping 2001 okay db8 colon cafe colon 2 All right colon colon 2 can we ping it yes we do have a reply all right so same thing let's ping from pc3 here going to pc1 all right so i'm gonna have here ping 2001 db8 ahad three colon colon two and we also have a reply okay so that means these two computers here are now connected now let's test okay so the floating static route so let's go back to pc1 here okay and we are going to test if it traverses on our primary link and to do that there should be three hubs right so that would be from pc1 to router one from router one to router three and then from router three to pc3 so let's see we should be getting three hubs here after the tracer so we'll have tracer here okay so 2001 colon db8 all right colon cafe colon 2 colon colon 2 there let's see all right so we get the three hops and we all see here that it traverses via fit 10 here which is correct all right 
So we got it right then. Okay, so the next thing is, okay, we do the same on PC3. Let's go to PC3 now. Now on PC3, we have to tracer PC1. And we should be getting three hops also from here. So tracer 2001 DB8. Okay, ACAD. Colon 3. Colon, colon. That's 2 there. Okay? And we've got... Uh, we've got 3 hops also here. And we can see that it reverses on fit here. Alright? So, we got it right. Okay? So, by default, it's set on the primary link. Now, this time, I want to disable the primary link. Okay, on the interface okay, of R1, which is serial 011 here. So enable. All right. So enable configure terminal. Okay, interface serial 011. Let's shut it down. Shut down. All right, so let's fast forward time here. Now let's test it. So this time we are expecting four hops here because the signal or the packet traverses from PC1 to R1, that's one. R1 to R2, that's two. R2 to R3 is three. R3 to o, PC3, that's four. Let's see. Okay. So you've got four hops there. All right, so we get it right. Now, Let's do the same on PC3. Okay. So let's see if we could have four hops here. All right. So you've got four hops. Okay. Now again, when we turn this on, okay, let's go back to R1. Okay. And turn this on. Okay. No shutdown. Okay. So it's up we should be getting the same output, okay? So this time, let's start on PC3. Since this primary link is already up, we should be getting three hops here. Let's do it. All right, so you've got three hops, okay? And also, in here, you should be having three hops. All right, so that's it, okay? So that ends up our video demo on IPv6 floating static route configuration. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Have a great day.